Greetings Earthlings, Megan here. Today we're gonna to go over my very minimal and simple skincare and makeup routine for the morning. The end result is a very natural, no makeup makeup look. So let's get into it. Here I am extremely fresh faced and uh, ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put my hair up in a messy bun. Somehow I managed to have lint all over me. That's how it goes. We're gonna go in with SK2's facial treatment essence. Yes, I'm aware how expensive this stuff is, but I use it because it works. It exfoliates my skin in a very gentle way. It helps refine it. I feel like my skin is brighter and I just feel like it does all of that without irritating my skin, which is a pretty big deal. So that's why I like it so much. I use it morning and night. Next up is Lancome Genifique. I've been using this off and on since college and it has a yeast ferment in it that is really cool. It also has vitamin C in it and it just helps to keep my skin kind of bright and healthy looking. This is Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is almost like a tinted moisturizer. It's very sheer, super, super sheer, but then it also has mineral SPF 30 in it. So this is a product that I wear literally every single day for that SPF. If I'm gonna go on like a hardcore hike or be outside for an extended period of time, I would wear an SPF 50. I would not wear this like if I'm gonna be outdoors for a long time, but on a daily basis when I'm just intermittently outdoors, running to the car or wherever, this is my go-to. You can see how sheer it is. The, the finish of it is very, very natural. I wouldn't say it's dewy, I would definitely say it's natural and you can definitely see my skin through it. So this is not like a hardcore coverage type product. Next up is Max Mineral Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus. Again, I've been using this off and on since college and it just helps to give like an optical blurring finish to the skin. So you can see that almost immediately my pores look a little bit more refined. I completely forgot to use my concealer, so we'll skip that step. It's not unusual for me to not use concealer, so this video is accurate. This is Max Mineralized Blush in Sweet Enough. I love this color because it's kind of like a really soft muted pink. It's like a little dusty. It has a hint of brown in it and it's just very natural looking. I really like this formula because it gives skin kind of a luminous finish without being sparkly and without being completely matte. It's very, very natural looking. Notice I'm using a Morphe Duo Fiber Brush. I'm obsessed with Duo Fiber Brushes because it's literally impossible to be heavy handed with Duo Fiber Brushes. This is ColourPop's Brow Boss in Dark Brown. So this is just a really good pencil for helping to define the eyebrows. Full disclosure, I love ColourPop for two reasons. They give great products at a great price point, but then secondly, I actually used to work for Seed Beauty, which is the company that operates ColourPop, and I worked for them for two years. I'm no longer financially tied to that company in any way, but I am extremely biased in using their product because I love them so much. followed by ColourPop's Brow Boss Gel, again in dark brown. I have really, really sparse brows, so I need all the help I can get in this department. This is a MAC pencil in Teddy. It's just a really rich chocolatey brown with a little bit of shimmer and I just use it on my upper lash line really simply to add just a touch of definition. Honestly, most people would not be able to tell that I'm wearing eyeliner when I'm wearing this because it's so muted. This is a little eyelash curler I got maybe a decade ago at a Japanese market and it still works and I love it because it's so compact and it's pink and it's adorable. This is Dior Show Mascara. This has been around for such a long time and I've tried so many other mascaras and I always end up coming back to this one. I think I've been using it off and on since high school or college and I just really like the formula. I love how big the brush is. It gives natural volume without looking clumpy. 
This is a lip pencil from MAC and Subculture. It's just like a super muted pinky nude. It's almost like the exact same shade as my lips. So it's a way for me to line my lips and give a little bit of like a fuller look. I don't have any filler in my lip, which is probably why I'm pouting this entire video subconsciously. So lip liner helps me. This is ColourPop's Lippy Sticks. I've really been enjoying this formula lately because you don't have to wear it like full coverage. You can see that I just applied it to my top lip and now I'm kind of blending it out between my lips. So it gives a little bit of color, very, very soft, very, very natural looking. This is Daisy from Marc Jacobs. This fragrance has actually been around for quite a while as well. I remember it launched when I was in college and that was over a decade ago, my friends. And it's just a really light and beautiful fragrance. So here, I actually timed this. So this really was like a 10 minute skincare and makeup routine. And now I'm going to uh, run to the bathroom and uh, spruce up my hair a little bit because this is most definitely an example of some bed head. You can see that you can still totally see my skin. This isn't a full coverage makeup look by any means. It's supernatural. Back from the bathroom, hair is slightly cleaned up and still what would be considered a messy bun, but I just cleaned it up slightly. This is a rose water I grabbed from the bathroom that I forgot to bring out, and I'm just gonna mist it very liberally. It smells delightful, and it's just gonna fuse all the layers of makeup together for a really, really, really natural look. So here's my before, very natural. And then the after, you can still see some of the mist is kind of like, evaporating and drying so just ignore that part but you can see that the makeup looks a little bit more presentable than my pure fresh face but it also looks very natural very minimal this is a very easy makeup routine if you find that you have an aversion to wearing a lot of makeup you don't like the look of a lot of makeup you don't like the feeling of a lot of makeup some of these products that we talked about may be for you this is what i do every day most people don't even think i'm wearing any makeup quite honestly when i'm when i do this look yes i'm aware that i'm pouting my lips to a ridiculous extent my husband's already made fun of me for it as always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And thanks so much, guys. Okay, last thing. I just want to give a very special shout out to my friends, Adrian, Emily, and Kim. I've just been talking to them about my channel, getting really good feedback from them. So I wanted to give them a very special shout out. Thanks, guys.